Well, hello there, everyone. My name is Ryan Thomas Woods, and today I am here with my great British friend, Alistair. Hey there, guys. And this week, we're going to be comparing delicious North American food to the bizarre British food that they have here in the UK. Bizarre? If anything, your food's bizarre. Oh, no, he didn't. So we went ahead and went shopping. I bought some British food, and Ryan bought some American food. And I also had my family and friends bring over some Canadian food all the way from Canada. So we'll be trying some of that as well. I'm actually really excited for this. You should be. Let's, Let's do, do this. this. So you're a university student and you're really poor. What do you eat? Well, in Britain, we eat things called super noodles. They're about 69 pence each. And in Canada and America, we usually have something called craft dinner, or Katie for short. Oh, oh look my at gosh, that. look at that. Already cooked for us. Well done, well done, magician. So Alistair is going to try some Katie. Oh, this, I'm not looking forward to this. Do you want ketchup on that? Ketchup? On macaroni and yeah, cheese? Yeah, everyone puts ketchup on macaroni and cheese. Well, usually everyone does. Oh, go on then. We got some Heinz ketchup here. Do it. You ready? Oh. Yummy. Oh. How does it taste? It's actually not that bad. I eat craft dinner all the time back home. It's actually pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Is it good? Yeah. yeah. Processed. Everything. You know it's gonna fuck up your arteries. Probably. But... Right, so now I'm going to try some super... Is that what they're called? Super noodles. Yeah, super noodles. This looks... <laughs> this looks horrendous. Do this big. Big bite. <laughs> this doesn't taste as good as crop dinner. <laughs> I can eat so much. I know, craft dinner is the best. It's absolutely the best. So to wash down the nastiness of those super noodles, I have here some Sunny D, which is a drink I used to drink a lot as a child until they banned it because I had too much sugar, I think. Um, but I think they brought it back with less sugar. Oh. So Sunny D is where it's at. And I have for you a Capri Sun. Capri Sun. Capri Sun. It's Capri Sun, isn't it? It's in British food. Capri it's Sun. British. <laughs> so if you were at school, you weren't cool unless you had one of these in your lunchbox. It was actually British. the same as Sunny D. Like, you were only a cool kid if you had Sunny D. Cheers. Cheers. I actually really like it, yeah. Sunny D is really good. Yeah. This tastes like orange juice, though. Do you like it? Yeah, it's alright. It's pretty good. I don't, think it, I don't think it's as good as I want my Sunny D back. You can have that crap. <laughs> Canadians love crap peanut butter. And everyone knows British people love Marmite. I've never had Marmite, so this should be interesting. We usually eat it in a spoonful. Do you? Yeah. Okay, well I guess I'll have to eat it in the spoonful then. This looks disgusting. I'm not looking forward to this. Okay, three, two, one. Oh my god! <laughs> What? Oh my god! That is disgusting! I used to eat it out. Oh my god! How do you eat this in a spoonful? Oh my god. Oh my god. I may have been joking about the spoonful. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! That looks like poo. You just made me eat poo. You either love it or you hate it. Mmm. That's disgusting. Ugh. Let's go on a pretty nice time, really, with my peanut butter. Do some more? No. Ooh, I don't want to. I'm going to leave. Bye bye. Oh my god. That was disgusting. I'm going to have to. Next up, we have some Pop Tarts. Every American and Canadian's favorite snack growing up as a kid. I've heard lots of good things about Pop Tarts, but I've never tried one. So. Mm. And for Ryan, I've got some custard creams, the traditional British biscuit. Ooh, so, that sounds delicious. Have you had Pop-Tarts before? Nothing. First Pop-Tart. Strawberry flavored. What does it taste like? Alright. It's alright. Alright. Sugary. Mm -hmm. I don't really eat them now, because it's just like... Alright. So I am going to try some custard creams. No, they just taste like... Biscuit. So next up, we have some goldfish, which I ate as a child all the time. Do you guys have goldfish here? Do you goldfish? What, the food or the, the goldfish? You don't eat a physical goldfish. It's, just, it's like a cracker. I've never seen these before. And so I brought Cadbury Jumbo Animals. I used to eat these as a child a lot as well. You should like these. I like that because it has chocolate in it. <laughs> Usually, you just put a bunch in your little hand here and they're little Oh. You'd be like, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Ow! And you just eat the goldfish. You're just gonna say they're eating them all. Oh yeah, so it's supposed to be you trying yeah. the goldfish. 
You You just ate Nemo. <laughs> you just ate Nemo! So, we have some Cadbury Jumbo animals and these are melted. <laughs> you give this to kids? Yeah. This looks like full sugar. Exactly. Delicious. Ooh, it's an elephant. In terms of candy, I found some Swedish fish, which I don't really eat, but it's actually apparently a Canadian candy. Oh, okay. Who knew? And for sweets, not sweets. candy. Candy. I have bought some Mauams. Oh, so very bloody brilliant. Very traditional British candy. Oh my god, you have so many flavors of Mauams. So Alistair is gonna try some Swedish fish. It's chewy. Mm. Yeah. No, they're really not touching. I don't know why they're called Swedish fish, but they're Canadian. I don't really know why they're called Swedish oh, fish. Right. We just love Swedish people. And now it's time for you to try some strawberry Mauams. Alright, here we go. First Mauam. It's just like plaster. But, so you like that? <laughs> no, we do not like that. plaster. So I know a lot of British people do not like this kind of chocolate, but I have here some Hershey's chocolate. Oh. Heck. I don't know why they don't like Hershey's chocolate here, because, because I think it's delicious. Tastes like poo. How does it taste like poo? Hershey's is freaking delicious. Yeah, but not compared to Galaxy Chocolates. Galaxy Chocolate. Sort of I best. heard this is good. I'm already having a sugar high right now. Like, I'm shaking. Alright. This just tastes like chocolate. Yeah, but compared to that, it just nice. tastes beautiful. No. Hershey's is way better. Alistair's gonna try some Hershey chocolate now. I wanna see your reaction on your face. I've heard it's so bad. Alright. Okay, go for it. It doesn't taste like poo. Don't worry. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's just chocolate. <laughs> it's so much better than Galaxy, is it not? No. Why? Like... No. No. It's awful. Okay, I think this is the biggest debate. Comment down below if you prefer Hershey's or Galaxy. Hershey's is where it's at. Galaxy is where it's at. Not no. that shit. No, what this is? is the shit. This is the best. No, no. So next up, we have every Canadian kid, every American kid's favorite drink, Kool-Aid. And from Britain, the traditional British squash, Robinson's. See, squash, when someone says, oh, I love squash, I thought it was like the vegetable. I thought you guys were like obsessed with the squash vegetable. So I'm gonna get Alistair to drink some of this Kool-Aid and I'm gonna drink some of this squash. Okay. No, 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 wait, 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 what? no, no. What? You have to mix it with water. I got some I made for you earlier. Oh, okay. Here. Oh, with magic, water. magic! Oh my goodness, the magician. Squash. Squash. Yeah. That sounds wrong. That sounds wrong. That's actually quite nice. Yeah, it is nice. So I've noticed that uh, this isn't a drink either, Ryan. It's powder. Oh, is it powder? Yeah. Oh, I didn't think about that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put some of the powder. Yeah. Okay. How put much? It in there. How much? Just a little bit. Yeah, that should be good. Okay. And then you just fill it up with water. And see how there's no artificial flavor? Oh, I was gonna say no artificial color, but then it's pink for some reason. <laughs> Stir it up. You got it. You got it. How's it taste? Yeah, so just, it tastes fake. Does it taste fake? Yeah. It, is it, it's because it's in powdered form. Mm. Did you actually just eat the powder? Not fresh. Uh, Not fresh. <laughs> <bad. laughs> does it taste like strawberry kiwi? It tastes much stronger than that. Does it? That tastes really nice. Yeah, try yeah just, yeah, well, you know. Just eat white powder. It's okay, guys. Oh my god, that does taste good. Pure maple syrup all the way from Canada. <laughs> so sweet! It's full of sugar. I feel like a, I'm turning into a Canadian. A Canadian already! <laughs> We're gonna get fat after this. Mm. 